I got a question for you. What if you could use an ancient sleep technique to actually trick your mind so that you can manifest anything that you want? Now, Neville Goddard explains a little known sleep technique to help you do exactly that so that you can get everything that you want in life with very little effort. And I admit it sounds too simple. It sounds too good to be true. But I've used this to go from a struggling business owner to building a multi-million dollar company. I've used it to attract viral YouTube videos that helped me go from a channel that had 5,000 subscribers to now almost 1 million. And I've come to the conclusion that you can use this sleep technique for just about anything you truly desire. And it'll reprogram your subconscious mind. But it's very important that you watch this full video because if you do any of these steps incorrectly, it will not work. So if you're ready to reprogram your mind while you're asleep, turn it into a magnet to attract what you want, get ready for something awesome. Now, if you've heard of Neville Goddard, then you've likely heard of him discussing the importance of sleep for a manifestation tool. But if you're anything like me, you're probably wondering how he actually came across this supposed sleep secret. And I found some super old audio lectures of Neville telling his first encounters with this magical power of sleep and how you can use it. So let's play this very old Neville clip now and have him explain it. At the time, I wanted to make a trip to the island of Barbados in the West Indies, but I had no money. He explained to me that if I would that night, as I slept in New York City, assume that I was sleeping in my earthly father's house in Barbados and go sound to sleep in that state, that I would realize my trip. Well, I took him at his word and tried it. For one month, night after night, as I fell asleep, I assumed I was sleeping in my father's home in Barbados. At the end of my month, an invitation from my family came, inviting me to spend the winter in Barbados. I sailed for Barbados the early part of December of that year. From then on, I knew I had found this savior in myself. The old man told me that it would never fail. Even after it happened, I could hardly believe that it would not have happened anyway. That's how strange this whole thing is. Now, Neville ends that clip with the word strange. And strange is a good way to describe the power that you hold before sleep. And this sums up big idea number one. Sleep is a magical time for manifestation. Do not knock it until you try it. So keep watching and I'm going to explain how you can have these same amazing things happen for you with a lot less work than you can possibly imagine. Now, this kind of probably sounds good, right? Wouldn't you like to be able to use it, but you might feel skeptical like I was, like, huh? Or maybe you're unclear of how. How do you actually use sleep to reprogram your mind so that you can attract whatever you desire? So. Let's have Neville explain the practical technique here in a very old lecture clip that I found. You simply know what you want. When you know what you want, you're thinking of it. That is not enough. You must now begin to think from it. Well, how could I think from it? I am sitting here and I desire to be elsewhere. How could I, while sitting here physically, put myself in imagination at a point in space removed from this room and make that real to me quite easily. My imagination puts me in touch inwardly with that state. I imagine that I am actually where I desire to be. Now can I tell that I am there? There is only one way to prove that I am there. For what a man sees when he describes his world is as he describes it relative to himself. So what the world looks like depends entirely upon where I stand when I make my observation. 
So if, as I describe my world, it is related to that point in space I imagine that I am occupying, then I must be there. I am not there physically, no, but I am there in my imagination, and my imagination is my real self. And where I go in imagination and make it real, there I shall go in the flesh also. When in that state I fall asleep, it is done. I have never seen it fail. Now that sums up big idea number two. Use sleep to dream that you are already there. And this is exactly why I created a very advanced audio sleep technology to help me fall asleep faster, sleep better, and to actively reprogram my mind while I was sleeping. And I started doing this about seven years ago. My business was making under $2,000 per month when I began to do this. And by the time I was 27, 28 years old, I was a millionaire and my life had changed forever. And what I did is turn this into a subliminal sleep system that you can turn on before you go to sleep to help you fall asleep and it plays while you're asleep to reprogram your mind. And I call it sleep and get rich. If you wanna check it out, it's jakeducey.com slash sleep is the URL, or it's pinned to the comments and in the description right there down below. It's sleep and get rich. It's my patented sleep technology system to reprogram your mind while you sleep. And now that we've had Neville explain the how, this leads us into big idea number three, to think from what you want and stop thinking of what you want. So here's a very old lecture where Neville explains the importance of this while you're going to bed each night. Now, what I do is I turn on the sleep and get rich system. I get myself into that state of mind. I allow the subliminals to play and then I enter what it is that I want. So here's a clip of Neville. Now here is a practical technique. The first thing you do you must know exactly what you want in this world. When you know exactly what you want, make as lifelike a representation as possible of what you would see and what you would touch and what you would do and physically moving in such a state. For example, suppose I wanted a home, but I had no money, but I still know what I want. I, without taking anything into consideration, I would make as lifelike a representation of the home that I would like, with all the things in it that I would want. And then, this night, as I would go to bed, I would, in a state, a drowsy, sleepy state, the state that borders upon sleep, I would imagine that I am actually in such a house, that were I to step off the bed, I would step upon the floor of that house. Were I to leave this room, I would enter the room that is adjacent to my imagined room in that house. And while I am touching the furniture and feeling it to be solidly real, and while I am moving from one room to the other in my imaginary house, I would go sound asleep in that state. And I know that in a way I could not consciously devise, I would realize my house. Now I absolutely love that. And the reason that that's so important is because when you're going to sleep, or even if you're just visualizing during the day, we're conditioned to believe in linear time. So you think about what you want as if it's in the future, you're thinking of it. Man, I'd really like that house, I'd really like that car, I'd really like to double my business, I'd really like to attract my soulmate, I'd really like to heal my health. So we're in a state of I do not have. And in the Bible it says to those that have more is given, and to those that don't have, even that which they have is taken away. So when you go into it not having, you are essentially putting your subconscious mind into a state of more of the same. And when you fall asleep, your brainwave states slow down. And when your brainwave states slow down, your conscious mind shuts off. So whatever consciousness you're in, goes directly into the subconscious exactly like when you are updating a software on a computer and you're downloading a new software, it installs. 
So whatever goes into the subconscious installs. And that is exactly why you have to think from it. So when I go to sleep, it's very simple. I'm in what I want, I'm in the house, I'm in the car, I'm in the health, it's already there. And then I allow the subliminal sleep system to play and each time it's going, I allow my mind to enter those different dreams, almost like a lucid dream, right? People do lucid dreaming, they imagine they're flying and all this type of stuff like that. I do lucid dreaming, but I imagine I'm in my future already. So what I invite you to do is test this idea. Do a thought experiment for the next 21 days and see what you can attract. Focus on one specific thing. It might be to attract an extra thousand dollars, it might be to double your business, it might be to attract your soulmate, a new friend, a solution to a problem. Pick a singular intention. Once you pick your singular intention, allow the sleep and get rich subliminal audio system to play as you're going to sleep, practicing this Neville technique, and then let it play while you are asleep. And then, do it every day for the next 21 days. Here's the thing, you have nothing to lose. That's what's so cool about this because it doesn't require extra time or extra effort. You're already going to sleep. It's just that most people go to bed worrying about their life, so they are installing that computer operating system into their mind during the most important time, sleep. So do a 21 day experiment. Get my sleep and get rich system right there down below. It's jakeducey.com slash sleep, pin to the comments and in the description right there down below. Pick a singular intention and then come back and share your success story. What'll happen is you're gonna start to see evidence. You wake up in the morning and oh my gosh, you just got a new client that came. Oh my gosh, you just met a new person that said they know the person that can solve your problem you start to see it happening all around you because whatever you impress upon the mind before sleep will express and manifest itself in your waking hours. So my friend, are you ready to see how powerful your mind is? If you are, give this a try. Give me a comment down below that says I love this video. If you enjoy it, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, bell notification, Right here on the screen is another Neville Goddard video that I made recently that I think you're really gonna love. And be sure to check out Sleep and Get Rich, my patented audio sleep system to reprogram your mind for exactly what you want. Pin to the comments in the description. Thanks for watching today's video. Put a smile on your face because you are more powerful than you believe.